All right, movie lovers, we are right here in front of the world-famous Fox Theater, which is featured heavily in the movie Detroit, and we're here for the world premiere of Detroit. So just stay tuned right here for the red carpet. See if we catch up with Kathleen Bigelow, Anthony Mackie, John Boyega, and the rest of the cast of Detroit right here on Black Tree TV. given up the idea of being surprised by Detroit. It's a city of resilience and hard work of people that always fight back. Detroit is not just about the city. Your city has exposed light on many things around the world, and these conversations are, are starting to happen, and I'm, and I'm excited about it. Catherine, how are you doing? Hi, I'm good, I'm good. It's such, a, it's such an amazing film, and um, I wonder, like, what was the... the you had to prepare for Zero Dark Thirty by this with the Marines and Afghanistan, and you had to prepare for her locker with all the bombs. Like, what was the preparation to get to know this community and this story? Well, I'll tell you, I was really introduced to it by the story and the research. And then Dr. Dyson, when I first visited the city, he took me around. He grew up here, so I really was introduced to the city um, through him. And that was an incredible experience. I mean, just to see it through his eyes. And I know he was only eight years old when the, when the riots or when the rebellion happened. So, but still, to see it through his eyes and to see the resilience of, of the city and the strength of the city, um, understand the power of a collective voice. I was, I was really moved, really inspired. I felt even more emboldened to tell this story. Last question. I know that you started the story right on the hills of the Ferguson. Was that was, was that the impetus to make you want to do this story? Yeah. I thought, you know, this this story feels like today. It should this is fifty years ago, yet it's yesterday. And it potentially will be tomorrow. How do we change this calculus? And that's really what was going through my head. Is maybe this could contribute to a conversation. Bill Woods not have even existed had it not been for uh, many generous contributions and so many Detroiters who were so generous when it came to addressing a painful moment in their history for the sake of bringing the topic of social justice to light. You know what's nice is to tell a story about a place and then premiere it in that place. Yeah, but it's Michigan furious to be back in Michigan. The vibes are amazing. The music is great. The people feel like I'm back in my childhood. My, like, I got all my family here. The food is amazing. Feels yeah. good. Yeah. We're at the Fox Theater, like what? It's so humbling, man. To be a part of something that's real and grounded in something that's so relevant today. It's bringing history to life.